everybody, Chris Steele here, Steel Frags. We're having a little double feature here. So tonight, we're going to do another review. In this review, we're going to be reviewing five, uh, what I would consider masculine, yet sophisticated fragrances in my collection. So the first fragrance we're going to kick it off with is... Mont Blanc Individual. A Mont Blanc Individual is a sweet aromatic fragrance. It is in the same category as something like um, Yope or Jupe. It's in that in that ballpark. It has some sweetness. I will say it's probably not quite as obnoxious as uh, Jupe is. It doesn't have that burning cinnamon. But there is definite sweetness. There's some aromaticness. So it has that uh, almost like a barber top, uh, barber shop touch to it. Let's see if we can get some out there. There we go. Bang. Oh, yeah. And this is a um, very long lasting, fresh, sweet, uh, but at the same time, very masculine. Um, could definitely dress this one up. You could uh, wear like a nice collared shirt or suit or blazer or something with this. And it would do well. You could also dress it down. Just don't go too casual. And uh, yeah, this is great. You can get some good compliments with this. And it's an easy reach. So that is Mont Blanc Individual. Second fragrance we're going to discuss and this is a good fall fragrance. Picked this up a little while ago and really took me by surprise. This is a um, this is a clone of Terry Mugler's Angel. No, is it? No, it's um, Pure Malt. Terry Mugler's Pure Malt. Almost said Angel Man, but it's not that one. Pure Malt, and this one is called Star Man, if I can get the light to reflect. There we go. Star Men. Nebula. From Fragrance World. Mm, this one is gorgeous. Boozy. Look at the atomizer. Nice atomizer. Boozy. Sweet. Very masculine. It has that malt feel. Almost like a sort of like a sour root beer kind of smell. But it's beautiful though. And it has some kind of something in it smells almost kind of green and soapy. I did have to let this one sit a little while because it smelled weird when I first sprayed it. But I let it sit for a while. It's macerated some and it smells a lot better. Very long lasting. Uh, very affordable. And all around a good smelling scent. So that is Starman. Nebula from Fragrance World. Moving along, we have one of my new favorites. <laughs> the Poor Man's Dior Sauvage. Salvo Intense, baby. <laughs> and I hear this one smells like uh, Dior Sauvage uh, uh, Parfum. Now, I've never smelled a Parfum. I've smelled the basic Dior Sauvage EDT. I didn't get the God Batch or whatever the hell you guys are into these days. It's not that deep for me. If it smells good, I wear it. So, what do you get with this one? What do you expect? You get that Dior Sauvage and Broxen, but damn, it's good. It's sweet, fresh, clean, crowd pleasing. Your woman will thank you. I don't think uh, anybody's going to stop you in the street and arrest you because it's not real Dior Sauvage. It is Salvo Intense from Mason Alhambra. Okay. Next, moving along, have another offering from Latafa. And this one is Assad. Now, if you don't know, you will know very soon. This, again, is a um, 
a uh, Dior, Dior Sauvage Elixir clone. This one is very masculine to me. And I hear it's pretty close to the OG. But I don't really give a fuck if it's close to the OG. It smells good. It smells really good. And if that's what Dior Sauvage Elixir smells like, one day when I'm rich and famous, I might buy some. But for right now, I'm rocking with a side. And I don't give a damn. Who knows? It smells good. So you get like a spiciness, slightly sweet, not real sweet though. Fresh, fresh, spicy, masculine. Uh, cardamom, a little bit of cardamom, maybe some cinnamon, coriander. There's some kind of spice in there. Gives it a really nice touch, but uh, yeah, it's not that expensive. It smells great. And that is a side from Latafa. And last but not least, from the House of Latafa once again. Now, I did a uh, unboxing of this quite a while ago on my channel. This is Al Arik Silver. Al Arik Silver from Latafa. This one is a monster. You have to be very, very careful with this one. Okay, because this is uber masculine. Very masculine. This is like leather, gunpowder, smoke, felonies, overdoses, prison fights. Like, it is strong. This is violence in a bottle, man. I'm telling you. So I'm going to hit it with the elbow. People's elbow, baby. Okay. A little bit on the people's elbow. Just a little bit. Because that's, I'm telling you, that's finna. That's finna. Fill up this whole room now. Man, I got a smorgasbord of uh, smells on me. Anyway, what does that smell like? Smoke and leather. Very smoky, very leathery, slightly spicy, slightly just a hint of sweetness. And it's not really so much sweet. What you're smelling is more of the incense and the oud playing with the leather and giving a a false sweetness, but really you're going to get leather. It's not going to be fancy leather. It's not super fresh leather. It is almost cowboy leather, rawhide type leather with an ashy, smoky incense. In it. Anyway, we're definitely making the world a better smelling place. I gave you guys five different fragrances. You can all pick these up. They're all under $50. You can find them on Amazon. Um, you do not have to go to Antarctica and fight uh, yetis and, and you know, have gunfights and all that. You These are easily, readily available. They're inexpensive and they all smell very good and they're very masculine. So that's what we want. So with that, man, you guys make the world a better smelling place. Putting you up on game. So, you know. Do right by do right by the world, make it a better snowy place. Anyway, you guys stay blessed, have a lovely night, and as always, peace.